So you want your ex back. I understand. Let me tell you how helping my girlfriend move from a large house into a smaller house helped me identify three key points that will help you to develop a better mindset. Uh, therefore help you possibly attract back your ex. Hey folks, I am Jim Miller helping you find and keep the love of your life and write a better love story. I'm gonna ask if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button, should be right over in the corner here. Uh, when you do that, tick the bell icon. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload new content. Also would like to ask for a thumbs up down below and leave a comment in the section down below. Those things will help me grow the channel. Uh, and I do appreciate it. I always appreciate hearing from, from anybody that sees the videos and what they think. Uh, also check the description below there. You'll see that my, uh, my email address is down there along with a couple of free eBooks that I get, give away. You can download those right away. But let's get into the content here. And it's a little random, uh, might not make sense. Hopefully if you stay with me, it'll make a lot of sense. So my girlfriend's lease was up. The house she was living in was a larger house. Uh, her and her children live in this larger house. And the lease was up and the landlady, the lady that owns the house, wants to do some renovation work on the house. So she couldn't, there was no option to extend the lease or to, you know, to sign another one. Uh, so she had to get out. Well, we've been looking for houses for quite some time and really couldn't find anything that suited her. So she ended up having to take a temporary place, a much smaller place than what she's used to. Uh, now moving is such a pain in the ass. And if you've ever done it, it's crazy. It's like we took, we got a truck and every time we'd go back to the house, there seemed like there was more stuff. There was more stuff to move. Oh my God. I mean, we almost had the room emptied. And what they were doing was dragging everything out of the bedrooms and out of the other rooms and bringing it in the living room where we took it out of the truck. Now that's not the important part. Uh, yesterday, or actually I, I take that back Sunday, this, this last Sunday, we moved the last truck out of that house and, and we're done with that. The important part is this, basically everything that she moved was separated out into three categories. Category number one was what do I need to survive now? Category number two was what do I need uh, in the future I'll need but I don't need right now that we can put in storage. And category number three was what can we get rid of, okay? So category one was things like clothes. They need clothes. Uh, they took the food out of the refrigerator and moved that to the new house. Uh, they took some furniture, but not a lot of furniture because the house already had furniture in it. Uh, so there were a lot of things that they didn't need. What they need is something to survive for a couple of months. That's what was moved into the new house. The next category was things that she liked, she wanted, she wanted to keep, and she'll need later. So you're in a breakup, you're in the smaller house. What do you need to survive? You're going to get back with your ex or you're going to get into another relationship. What are those qualities that you want to hang on to? What are those things you want to hang on to? This was a lot of furniture, bedding and what like that. We dumped it into storage. But then the third category, which is probably the most important, was what do we just not need anymore? You know, furniture that's broken, uh, things that are broken, clothes that don't fit. Uh, spoiled food in the refrigerator. That was stuff that was either given away, if it was, if it was somewhat usable, uh, it was either given away or we throw it in the truck and took it up to the dump. So let's put this over, moving from a large house into a smaller house, let's put this over to relationships. You're in a relationship, you're in a large house. All of a sudden you get broken up with, you're in a smaller house. The first thing you need to think about is what do I need to survive right now? I'm in a breakup, what do I need to survive in this different place where I am all of a sudden? Well, the most important thing you need is yourself. You need to find the self-love. You need to love yourself and you need to find that. You need to continue to work on yourself. You need to build yourself, build your self-esteem, build your confidence, build who you are as a person. You have to take you with you because that's all you have right now. Some other things that you need to keep to survive. Uh, would be to your friends and family, people that love you, people that care about you. I talk about it in some of my other videos and I talk about it in some of my blog posts, abetterlovestory.com. Uh, I talk about it in some of my blog posts. I call it the well of love. You know, you need your well of love. A well is some place where you can dip water out of, but this is where you can dip love out of uh, when you're thirsty. So that's category number one. What do you need to survive right now? Category number two is to take a look at your qualities uh, you know, take a look at the relationship, obviously, but inventory the relationship, but take a look at your qualities that make you a good boyfriend or girlfriend. You know, what are, are you kind, you're patient, you're forgiving, you're loving, you're passionate. These are the things that you really need to pay attention to. And you don't need them right now if you're not in a relationship. I mean, some of them you do, they carry over. But these are things that you're not giving to another person, to, to a, you know, a, a partner, a mate. Uh, 
these are the things that you want to keep for later. These are what we put into storage. And every so often we'll go by the storage unit, we'll look at it, make sure nothing's fallen, nothing's broken, make sure everything looks good, make sure it's in good repair. So that's number two, what do you need for later? But number three, and this is where the rubber hits the road, folks, is what do you need to get rid of? You've looked at the relationship, it's broken up, you don't know why, or maybe you do know why. You need to inventory that relationship and you need to put into that trash pile those things that maybe caused or uh, you know that that kind of led to the breakup maybe you have a selfish streak okay maybe you need to look at your selfishness maybe you're sarcastic maybe you've got a bad temper and you're angry maybe you've got some bad habits uh, smoking drinking too much whatever it is these are the things you know maybe maybe you're flirting with other people uh, you know these are the qualities that you need to look at and go you know what they just don't serve me anymore uh, and I'll be honest with you folks, it feels good to purge that stuff. These qualities in your life that just no longer work for you, uh, it feels good to get over them. It feels good to get rid of them. I got to be honest with you, I had my truck load, I pick up my old 96 Chevy pickup truck, had it loaded full of stuff, took it up to the dump, old, old garbage, and just heaved it off and heaved it off and heaved it off. You know, and, and her son went with me and we just emptied the truck and we did this a couple of times. And as a result, there's a lot less baggage uh, that she's going to carry with her to the next place. Uh, now, fortunately, our relationship is strong and it's solid, uh, so she's not in a little house so far as that goes. But she has much less stuff when time does come to move. There's a lot of things that aren't going to move with her. Uh, we'll move the few things she took to the new house. We'll move the big thing. <clears throat> excuse me. We'll move the big things that are in storage because those will be needed there. And we got rid of a whole bunch of stuff that we just don't need anymore. That will help with your mindset. If you can do this, folks, if you can inventory the relationship and you can look at what do you need to survive right now, if you're alone, God, I know it hurts, but you need, the, you need yourself to survive. You need, you're the only one that's really, truly going to be there for you for your, your whole life. You're the only one. And you need to find that self-love and you need to find that self-worth. And you may not feel like it right now, but trust me, it's so worth it. So continue working on yourself. Whatever it is that you're doing, if you're going to the gym, you're dieting better. Whatever it is that you're doing to improve yourself, continue doing it. Not for somebody else, but for you. Step number two is to look at those good qualities that you had. What made you a good boyfriend or girlfriend? Hang on to those. You may not need them right now because you're not in a relationship and you're hoping the ex will come back. But even if the ex doesn't come back, you're going to get another relationship at some point. Those qualities will come out of storage and boom, they will help. And step number three, like I said, get rid of the shit. I mean, no easy way to say it. Just get rid of the shit that just doesn't work. It doesn't fit. It's not good. Uh, that's my recommendation. That'll help you develop a better mindset. And a better mindset will help you to attract your ex or someone even better back into your life. So, again, folks, a little random. I hope it makes sense. Uh, I wanted to say thank you for everybody who's been uh, watching my videos. I do appreciate it. Uh, visiting my website, abetterlovestory.com. Uh, it's a little rough right now, but I got about eight, seven or eight blog posts on there. I got, some, I got some articles on there. One of them is a love letter that I actually wrote to my girlfriend when she was my ex. Um, and she liked it. She read it. She cried. So I told her I was going to publish it. Uh, so it's on there, abetterlovestory.com. Outside of that, folks, Jim Miller, helping you find and keep the love of your life and write a better love story. Thank you so much.